guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm the fairy o and i'm back with another content today now in today's video i am going to be teaching you guys a valentine's date night look that you can rock for your dinner your movie night or your movie date with your boyfriend or with a boo or with your girls something that you can just rock on valentine's day and by the way happy valentine's day guys it's from me to you i love you so much so guys without further ado let's get into the video guys so I already went ahead to draw my brows so I went to figure out one eye and then I came back so I can show you guys how I did the second eye so the first thing I use is my benign eyeshadow primer in clown white this eyeshadow primer helps my shadow to stay long and also helps me to avoid creasing on my eyes so I just dab it all over my eyes as much as I can Using my blending brush, I blend the eyeshadow primer all over so it wouldn't crease. I just try to make it as smooth as it can be. I try to blend it all over as you can see here. So taking the brown shade from my eyeshadow palette, I use a flat brush to dab it all over my crease and to the edges of my eyeshadow primer so it just sits well first. So taking a crease eyeshadow brush, I use it to blend the brown shade that I already applied on my crease. I just tend to blend it well so it can sit well. The key is proper blending. Then I take the first orange shade from my Morphe palette and just apply it all over my brown eyeshadow shade. I will just blend it in very well so it can sit in and mostly cover the brown eyeshadow shade. But like, yeah, you get what I mean. So using the 50-50 technique from P. Louise, I'll just apply the brown shade again. The brown shade I applied first all over the orange so it will just like seem well. Then I go over it with the second lighter orange shade all over the top of my eyeshadow so it can just blend in well. Then I took a darker shade in black and just applied it over the edge of my eyeshadow so that it can just like blend in well. I make everything look a little bit darker so yeah and just i'll also blend it over the top of my crease as well using that same flat brush i'll still use my benign eyeshadow primer in clown white to cut my crease i usually just take my time when cutting my crease to be honest because let's be let's let's be truthful to ourselves this thing requires time and proper concentration so like i just take my time carefully and slowly cut the crease and yeah so once that's done I just fill in with the primer all over the already cut area so I use my black shade to blend out the edge of my cut crease so that there won't be any harsh lines. So like I just use the black shade to blend it out and all over the top. And using that brown shimmers from Classic Eyeshadow Palette, I'll just like dab at the edge of my cut crease also so it will just like seem well. So I just blend out the brown shade so there won't be any harsh lines on my eyes then I go over the unshaded area with my white shimmers eyeshadow from classic so I just use that to blend out the place that has like many primer on and just carefully apply it to, like very carefully yeah once that's done I just blend everything all over again my transition colors and my main color as well so there won't be any harsh lines so once that's done guys, the next thing is to set my face or rather prime it. I use the Huda Beauty setting spray all over my face just to help me prime my face and help my foundation last longer. I use Zaron Healthy Glow Foundation in the shade FZ40. This foundation is actually really good guys, like seriously. So I just dab it all over my face and yeah. So guys, once that's done, I use my beauty blender to help me blend out the foundation i just use it to dab it all over my face like you guys do not swipe your beauty blender you dab it in please okay so like i just use to dab it all over my face yeah and 
this just helps me a lot to it's fast i use my beauty blender because it's fast and also like helps me blend it using my zara liquid concealer and highlight in az28 i just use it to highlight under my eyes and my nose my jaws my forehead you know the whole t-zone area so i just apply it not not so much but then moderately Using my blending brush, I just blend down my concealer under my eyes, you know, the whole T-zone area. Like, to be honest, you guys, you have to blend down your concealer very well. A well-blended concealer equals a very beautiful highlight. Like, you don't even understand. So, you have to blend that concealer well, babe. Blend it in. And the one on my forehead. And, yeah. So, I use my slick powder to set under my eyes. You know the whole t-zone area you guys see how this concealer is blended man like can't you see but anyway sha so i use the powder to sort of set the concealer first before i bake so i just apply it on places that has um concealer already then i apply my benign setting powder in those places under my eyes and yeah just around my t-zone area to help me like further enhance my highlights you know to make it pop going back to that same orange shade for my blush you know so just apply it on my cheeks so that it will add a little color to my face and yeah can't you see how i'm blushing the next thing to do is to line my lips so i'm using my mac lip pencil to just like line the edges of my lips all over before i apply my lipstick <laughs> After that I apply my red lipstick all over my lips. My lips is already lined so like it's just easier for me to apply the lipstick and I smack it and yeah I just try to make sure the lipstick and the lip liner blend together as much as they can so they will look as one and yeah. <laughs> Oh, and now we get to see the final look. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, look at me now. A hey, whole oh, babe. Uh, uh. Can't you guys see how this makeup is just popping? Like, yo, from the eyes, the lips. Oh, that smile alone is heavenly. Oh my god. Now, that, ladies, is how to get your Valentine's date night slay look on. I hope you guys have learned something from this. So let me know in the comment sections below guys how you like this look, what you learned from it and if you're going to do this look for Valentine's Day night. How are you spending your Valentine's Day? Me, I'm just going to be at home and be watching the internet, you know, what's going on, the boys, everything and I'm just going to be doing aww. Oh, I'm just going to be saying aww oh, everywhere, every time. Like, that's, that's just what I'm going to be doing on Valentine's Day. But like let me know what you're doing on valentine's day please don't forget to like this video comment below share share to your friends it's very important guys please also share this video to your friends and subscribe most important if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for like i mean you have to join the moving train subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified when i upload a new video we're gonna end this video and see you guys next time bye